we have a question here from Paul Cotter in New Zealand. And he asks, um, could it be true that excessive demands placed on workers during the Industrial Revolution forced humans into the eight-hour sleep pattern, which today we accept as normal, and maybe we would benefit more if we enjoyed two sleeps? He's advocating, you know, sleeping at night and then maybe having a, a little nap. Um, what do we have to say about uh, sleeping twice a day? Is that natural and better? Well, it turns out that a couple of hundred years ago, uh, we did have both split nocturnal sleep uh, where we, we, where people tended to go to bed, and there's a beautiful book that uh, that was written by a Virginia Tech professor about this, in which he went back and looked over historical records from hundreds of years ago, uh, court cases and other things. And people talked about the first dead sleep or the deep sleep at the beginning of the night. So they would get home, go to bed uh, near dusk, uh, sleep in very deep sleep for three, four hours, wake up around midnight. Uh, and then be out for actually a couple of hours. They would visit each other at times and whatnot. Uh, many children were uh, conceived during that interval. Because <laughs> <laughs> everybody was too exhausted right away when they got home from working in the fields. But, uh, and uh, then there'd be the second sweet sleep, the light sleep that we're, we're probably very enriched in rapid eye movement or the sleep stage associated with dreaming. Uh, in the in, in, for this second sleep, and then of course there was the siesta during the daytime. So um, so the sleep was was more divided than it is today. Uh, so the notion that we have to pack our sleep and then if we wake up during the night that that's abnormal it probably isn't abnormal. It probably is how we evolve. Uh, so the the current uh, you know uh, concern that you have to go to the doctor and get a pill if you wake up during the night is, is probably misguided.